A neurosurgeon is a surgical specialist that deals with the brain, the spine, and the peripheral nerves. Much like a pilot that needs to train for many hours and many years to deal with flight in a variety of conditions such as poor weather, etc., a neurosurgeon needs to have experience with a variety of procedures, not just in good circumstances, uh, but in unusual circumstances, unusual conditions. So it needs to be prepared for, for a variety of things that may be unforeseen. So experience is very important. Also with the breadth of pathology. Uh, many different cases may uh, arise, and a surgeon that has a great deal of experience will be willing and able to manage it. Breakthroughs for pituitary surgery include endoscopic endonasal surgery. It's a minimally invasive procedure that's utilized to work through the nose to remove pituitary tumors in a much better way with less side effects. So we get better removal, better outcomes with less morbidity. Uh, so that's been a great breakthrough in the past uh, years that has really revolutionized the management of pituitary tumors. Pituitary tumors are quite common. It, it's remarkable that they occur in one out of every four to five people in the, in the population. So it's, it's up to 10,000 new pituitary tumors are diagnosed every year in the United States alone. So it's a very, very pervasive disorder. Patients with pituitary tumors most commonly present with visual loss. Uh, when the tumor gets large enough, it can press on the visual pathways and cause a characteristic visual loss. They may not be able to explain what's going on initially, but they present to their ophthalmologist. Um, those are for non-secreting tumors. Other types of pituitary tumors will secrete a hormone that may have some other physical manifestations. If it creates a lot of steroid, for instance, we have Cushing's disease. If it's creating a lot of growth hormone, we might have a condition called acromegaly, where the, the features in the face and the hands and the feet get large or get enlarged. Um, so there's a number of ways they present, but commonly it's visual loss, and secondly, from some form of hormone production. The mainstay of treating pituitary tumors is with surgery. You know, these are benign and otherwise slow-growing tumors, and theoretically a complete removal can cure them. So non-secreting tumors that are affecting the vision, typically removing them, we can improve the vision and often return it to normal and theoretically cure the tumor. For secreting tumors, it's the same. Tumors that make excessive amount of hormone can have an impact on the, the body and can be devastating. And still the mainstay for, for treating those is to remove them. I'm Dr. James Evans. My mission at Jefferson is to improve lives. Mm -hmm.